Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is the Indie Game of the Week, Shelter 2, and thank you for watching. Shelter 2 is an open world survival game, guys, and if you played the original Shelter, guys, then you know how it feels to have your heart ripped out as your poor little babies are snatched away from you brutally. Now there is a distinct possibility that is going to happen in Shelter 2, but there's more of a focus on hunting and survival and existing in this beautiful, just hand-painted world that just nature and existing with coexisting within this ecosystem. It's just gorgeous, guys. Oh, I love it. It released on March 2015. It was developed and published by Might and Delight. You can go ahead and get Shelter 2 on Steam for the first week sale price of $13.49 or $14.99 normally. Now this is it guys, this is why I delayed Indie Game of the Week till today. This game is amazing from the art, from the graphics to the gameplay, it all really is just authentic and so well done. And this game has an amazing ability to do something no other game can really do. Well they can, but I find it rare. And that's make you care. It tugs at that parental instinct inside all of us to protect our children. Um, now, obviously, th this game can't be just all about emotional emotional manipulation. There obviously has to be a game here. And there is, which is even more amazing. To, to, to add to that, guys. I'm sorry if I'm gushing. It's just this Shelter 2 is a very well done game. It's a game I've been looking forward to for a long time. And it did not let me down just about in any way. So we're going to go ahead and start off in the settings. There is a, a few robust settings. Got some audio sliders. You got some, uh, it shows you the buttons. You can, I think you could also, if you wanted to, you could also rebind all the keys, which is fantastic. I love when they have um, rebindable keys. This just shows you how to manipulate the camera and all that good kind of stuff and all the buttons. Uh, there's some graphics manipulation here. The game does go up to 1080p resolution. You have basically three settings, high, medium, low. I just set it to high and it kind of just does it for itself. The game is gorgeous, guys. If you can, please set it to high because the graphics really are just mind-blowing, really pretty. It's just gorgeous game. Like I said, it does go up to 1080p resolution. It does also feature full controller support if you want to play it like that. I'm playing with my keyboard and mouse because that's just kind of how I picked up playing it. Uh, there is no Steamy goodness currently available for this game, no Steam achievements, no Steam cards, but that's something that may change in the future, and to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure it will. Now there's a couple other things on this screen, because there's a family tree. Now like I said, this game it, it has all the similar qualities of Shelter 1, you're basically trying to survive, you can unfortunately have your cubs be picked off, but this is all about a family, this is all about, you know, generations and surviving you probably could end up playing your children at some point in time it's just a very different kind of experience from shelter one but it kind of in a good way it's a different experience it kind of it's an homage to shelter one but it, it does something new it does something interesting and it does it well i'm gonna go ahead and load up my most recent game i've been playing for about 40 minutes because i was too terrified i'm not gonna lie to you. i was terrified to move move out too far because the more farther out you move out, the more danger you can end up being. The more, uh, the more you endanger your cubs here. So speaking of my cubs, these are them right there. And this is my main character right here, the Mother Lynx. Now there's a lot of things that you can look at around here. As you can see, it's just a huge world. In the last one, it was kind of a very linear game. You are trying to get from A to B. Uh, but in this one, you're really free to do whatever you want. I know the world just changed color for you on the screen. There's a reason for that. If you press the right right mouse button, it activates kind of like this hunter mode. Almost kind of like, you know, straight out of Assassin's Creed where you can see prey in the distance. And of course, your job is to, well, get them, like so, and feed them to yourself or your children uh, for them to eat. And they eat quite a bit, actually. They're pretty voracious little suckers. Um, and like I said, the game is just all about, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, come on, I caught that guy. I totally caught that guy. Alright, he's gone, he got away that one. That's okay, though. Where are my links? Where, where are my links, babies? My links, babies? Come here to papa. Or, I should say mama. I am actually a female links in this game, I suppose. 
Look, just look at these environment, guys. Look how gorgeous it is. Okay, but let's talk about what you're looking at right here. Very minimalistic design as far as the graphics go. On the bottom left side of the screen, there's kind of like a, a half moon right there. And what that represents is kind of my stamina. Actually, as you can see as I'm running, I'm losing stamina. I'm actually basically losing energy and actually can like get kind of tired out if I were to drain that all. I get tired out, but it's okay because I can actually eat food myself to regain some stamina. As you can see now, it's almost kind of like a full moon. Again, I'm just right clicking just to see where there's more prey. Uh, and that's kind of it as far as, you know, what you expect from the uh, overall graphics. As far as the controls go, it's very simplistic. You got WASD, you hold shift to just kind of run. You, oh, hello. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Ooh, delicious. i feed you to my children. Eat up, babies. Eat up, my babies. Uh, you basically can press shift control. You have that right click, basically, that shows you the world. You can also left click to, well, do two things. You can either press it to make a noise and call your children to you, which is so adorable. Or you can, um, ooh, hello. Okay, maybe I thought that was something else. Or you can basically kind of walk up to trees and knock nests out of the tree to get at the, you know, food. Basically, it's about, you know, surviving, guys. It's die or, you know, kill, basically, in this kind of world. It's, but it's beautifully done. It's not done in a, a needless fashion, as it were. Hello, what is that? Oh, right, I forgot to mention there is collectibles in this game. If I press the C button, you can see that there is several collectibles in this type of game, guys. I've only collected some of them. And this is kind of what what I like to call a trap. <laughs> that is what it's enticing you to, you know, go go a little farther. Go 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 see what's beyond that ridge. Go see what you can find. But it's a trap because <laughs> the sun eventually will fall, which is somewhere in the sky around here. I've been trying to keep an eye on it for my Lynx children. Oh my god, I can't say it. Okay, so the sun will eventually fall. It is moving in a direction. God, that sun looks gorgeous. And um, you're basically at nighttime, wolves come out and aim to attack you and your cubs. Which is what can be very dangerous. What am I looking at here? What am I stalking? Oh, oh. They detected me! Oh, yes! You can see how that was so cool. The link, the mother lynx just kind of entered this, like this, this crouch stance and started kind of stalking her prey as she moved forward. So, for the sake of this video, guys, I'm going to go away and stray from my home, uh, which, by the way, is that big tree right there. You can see there's kind of like these constellation symbols uh, when you basically kind of enter your scent mode. And you can see that um, there's a big tree up there. That is a representation of home. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a rabbit. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, come on. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, I got him. I'm going to feed my babies. And uh, basically, those constellations kind of like just representations of certain things. The, the, the big tree one is your home, and the other two, I don't really know what they are. I don't really... I'm not really 100% sure what they're for. <gasps> one of my links grew up! <gasps> He's bigger now! Two of my links grew up! Oh my! Cool! They grow! How dope is that? Now I want to keep feeding them. And to be honest with you, that is a perfectly acceptable strategy is to just kind of stay here in this base area and just kind of feed your links. Where is my... There he goes. Okay. L the little brown one's hard to see sometimes. Uh-oh. It getting, it's getting closer to nighttime, I can tell. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable strategy is to stay near home and just hunt and feed your links until they're a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger so that they, they can move out to deeper and you know, farther areas. There's more of a focus, like I said, on just an open world exploration and just taking in all these beautiful sights and sounds and the music just, oh, it really just complements the game so well. Okay, we're gonna, we're entering stalker mode here. Get him, get him, yeah. Come here, who needs to grow? Where are my children at? Why'd you get smaller? Weren't you bigger two seconds ago? I could have sworn some of you were bigger than that just earlier. Maybe you need to keep them fed for them to stay big? I'm not really sure. Let's find out. Whoa! 
I'm guessing it's suddenly fall. The seasons just changed on me rather quickly. That was kind of scary. Dang, it went from beautiful spring to this auburn fall color. It's gorgeous looking. My goodness. That means winter will eventually be coming very soon here. And food will probably become very scarce as well. Uh, and again, you need to keep your, your young ones fed, otherwise they will die. I'm going to try to catch one of these rabbits. Yeah! Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of exploration for you guys. I'm going to take us out probably a little too far. You're probably going to see some horrific murder. Not going to lie. But again, that's all for the benefit of you guys. Just for you to see what this beautiful game has to offer, guys. The sights, the sounds... Just look at the way the, the breeze goes through the trees and the leaves are falling. It's just gorgeous looking. Let's just get one of these rabbits if we can. Gotcha. Man! Now, of course, you'll move up to bigger and better um, prey eventually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. M. What does that mean? What does M mean? What does M mean? Did we stray too far from the tree? What's going on here? I don't really know. But we're going to keep moving forward. I've got to discover what that symbol means off in the distance. Now we're going to want to keep running though. There's Like I said, there's collectibles everywhere. Or as I like to call them, traps. Uh, because they want you to explore. They want you to experience what nature is like, guys. Uh, but at the same time, they also want you to care. Oh, there's froggies everywhere. Cute! So we're going to keep moving this way. You'll move up to bigger bigger and better prey. Eventually we'll take down deers uh, with your lynx children, with your lynx family. Uh, we're moving out into an area that I don't see any food, which is kind of bugging me. I'm not going to lie. We're going to move a little bit faster here. There has to be some food around here. Maybe not. Maybe there is nothing around here. Oh, oh. We got some sort of thing happening, though. What is going on here? Oh, I guess we shifted to another area. This could be good. This could be dangerous. But again, I'm doing this all for you guys just to show you how beautiful, how amazing, how terrifying this game is. You have no idea how freaked out I am by taking my cubs out this far. I so, I literally, was when I first started playing the game, I'm like, I just want to stay near the, uh, the mother tree and just kind of just uh, that's why I call it the mother tree. I should say the base, whatever you want to call it. The den. I just wanted to stay near the den and just protect my cubs because I was terrified of moving in their direction. I need that rabbit. I need it. I need it. Come here. You're going to die. I'm sorry. You're going to feed my children. That's how nature works. I apologize. Where, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, where's all of you? You are a slow little runt. You can also carry your children sometimes in your mouth, which is kind of freaking adorable. All right. So we're going to just keep moving out here, guys. Just look at this, guys. We're, where we're at right now, look at those mountains. Look how just gorgeous the skyline looks. It's just so beautifully done, the art in this game, and the music to match it is just incredible, guys. It's an experience. Like, I would love to show you the, the beginning. Oh, hello. Uh, I would love to show you the beginning um, the uh, scenes because it's really gorgeous, it's really cool looking, but I feel like that's something you should kind of almost experience for yourself because it's just so well done. I love how she just innately just kind of enters this 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 crouch stance. I just love that. I think I've fed my children quite a bit. It's probably soon for time for Mama to eat soon here. Oh, now it's raining. This is good. I think. Hope there's no giant hawks in the sky. I'm still traumatized by that from Shelter 1. Okay, we're going to keep exploring out over here. There's a beautiful lake to our right. So far, nothing horrible. We're going to keep exploring. There's some more food over here. And like I said, it's just there's a focus on more of just survival. More of a focus on exploration. Um... I don't know. I think there is a way to beat the game. 
And I think, um, oh boy. What was that noise? What was that noise? Okay, we're, we're gonna grab these little bunnies here. I haven't seen much other wildlife so far. Hello, what is that? Oh my god, that's not hawks, are they? What were they moving from? Let's go find out. Probably a bad idea to move towards this direction, I have a feeling, but I'm kind of curious. At this point in time, every instinct inside of me is telling me to go back to the tree, go back to the den. Um, but um, again, I'm doing this for you guys. I just want to show you the breathtaking sights. I want to show you what this nature is like. I want to show you the, the fear and reward of hunting out in the wilderness. Not much I can see in that direction. We're going to head towards the symbol. Hello, bunnies. I'm sorry, bunnies. You have to die. I'm actually probably going to eat one of you. There we go. This is for Mama. Nom 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 nom. She's going to need the energy. Oh, boy. Yes, I know. Now, sometimes, out of nowhere, nighttime will come. It just kind of strikes. Oh, boy. And when nighttime kind of strikes, the wolves come out and the game kind of switches its tone in a way. It goes from, you're the hunter to being hunted. And it's a very, just brutally terrifying moment, guys. Um, because you have to protect your children, but you have to run. It's just horrific moments when that happens. And you know what? I do not like this place. So I'm just going to run through here as fast as possible. Okay, my children are safe. We probably should start heading back to the tree, I have a feeling. Can they cross that? Yeah, they can. Okay, they're good, they're good, they're good. I also love the way that, that hunter sight works. It's just really cool looking. The way it just changes everything in the game. Uh, are we heading in the right direction? I don't really know. Keep exploring. That's basically the what we're doing here is just to explore. Hello! Can I get you? Can I get you before I tire out? Probably not. Nah, I got tired out. Dang it! When you get tired out, by the way, you kind of can just chill out, slump to the ground, regain some energy really rather quickly. Of course, you are exposed at that point. Uh, but that is something that you can do. Alright, we're going to keep moving this direction. Uh, oh, bunnies! Bunnies! I feel like I've been butchering so many bunnies here. It's not even funny. But that's kind of what I see so far. Oh, oh, hello. This might be a way towards that path. Right now I should probably be focusing way more on gathering food, like I said, and survival. But I just want to explore. I want to show you. Whoa. This world. She fell right into the water. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to do that. I don't know what just happened. Maybe I died? Okay, she just crawls out of the lake. That's cool. Let's get some water. Oh, there we go. So they drink. Adorable. Obviously, we can't swim across this lake, so we're going to have to move around it. And yeah, guys, this is kind of what Shelter 2 has to offer. It's just this beautiful, serene kind of hunting experience with moments of terror and dread when the wolves come for your children. But again, that's just nature. I think it's beautifully represented in this game. I think it's very well done. Um, and that's what I really like about Shelter 2. It's an experience. And it's it's something that makes you care. I mean, you can name your children in this game. Um, if that doesn't get you emotionally attached to them, I don't know what will. The only really gripe I have sometimes with uh, Shelter 2 is that the camera can be a little bit strange because you control the camera with your mouse um and sometimes it's just it doesn't exactly respond as much as i would like like if you have to move it up or down to kind of get a better view of things it's just sometimes it's not necessarily the most responsive thing in the world but to be honest with you 
it's fine. It's nothing that really prevents me from enjoying the game. I'm gonna try to get these bunnies. So many bunnies. I'm bound to get one. Oh my god, I ran one over and I did not get him. Are you kidding me with this, man? I'm gonna get tired. I'm gonna get tired. Okay. Oh, I got him. He ran right into my mouth. There you go, my lynx cubs. Eat. Grow. Be merry. I'm gonna, we're getting closer to that symbol there. Pop, Mama needs to eat something, I think. Mama's tired. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Now, Mama's gonna eat this one. Mama's getting tired. She needs the stamina. All right. So far, so good. Where are we? Are we heading in the right direction? We are heading in the right direction. And it's just, I love the fact there's just so much exploration. I love the fact that you're, just, you're not necessarily just living in fear of losing your children. I mean, it is something that can happen. It's something that might happen. Uh, but it, it's more about just exploration in this game. It's more about just living in the ecosystem uh, and seeing what it's like. And I just really enjoy that aspect. It's really beautiful. It's very well done. Gosh dang it. I feel like I'm going in circles. I did collect something, though. What did we just collect? I don't know what we just collected. That was strange. I'm not sure what you get once you collect all the collectibles. What was that? What's going on? Everything all right? All right, don't freak me out. Uh, music just got quiet. That can only mean one thing. Usually danger. Okay. We're going to want to start heading back to the tree. Oh, my! Those are deer. Awesome. Now, obviously, we have to jump on the deer. Let's go get them. Go, go, go. Oh, I got a deer. Totally got a deer. Oh, yeah. Now, I believe this can feed everybody. The entire family will eat that deer. And they should be good, I would think. I'm going to start heading back to the, 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 the den, guys. But that gives you an example of just the kind of living you can do in this game. We just got a freaking deer. How cool is that? Is there another one nearby? I don't think so. Unless they're by the water. What the? Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna definitely want to start heading back to the den, I think. Yeah, let's start heading back to the den. Unless winter just kicked in. Yeah, it sure did. Winter just kicked in. And we're gonna want to start taking our... our our poor cubs back to the den, guys. You can just see how the season just shifts very rapidly. Uh, and it's just gorgeous. I love the way that things just change so quickly in this game. Now, we need to be careful because, you know, we could starve. There's animals are going to start coming more scarce, more harder to find. We'll have to use probably a little bit more extra energy to get them. Most importantly, we have to make sure that our cubs are fed so that way they survive and grow so i think that kind of covers everything i wanted to show you about shelter 2 guys i mean if, if you're not convinced to buy this game yet go and, and look just watch the first starting scenes of this game because it's just so beautiful it's so gorgeous it's so well done guys and it's just a very different experience from shelter one it's a very well done experience i enjoyed it quite a bit and I think you will too. That's why it's Indie Game of the Week, guys. Because it's just a beautiful game. It's really enjoyable to play. It's fun to play. Oh, God. And now the Mother Lynx is frozen. <laughs> so you get the basic idea, guys. It's just a, a game about exploration, about hunting. It's really cool, guys. Eventually, your Lynx cups will grow. Uh, and they'll begin hunting with you. It's really cool, guys. Um, so I just want to say big thanks to the developer for a chance to check out this game. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share, guys, and I'll keep bringing you awesome indie games like Shelter 2, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting up that tip jar if you're feeling generous of heart. All tips go to improving the channel or future giveaways. Come here, you dang dirty rabbits! Ah, uh, we're hunting rabbits. Um, all tips go to improve the and go to improving channel or future giveaways, guys. Till next time, guys. I'm gonna keep hunting and taking care of my little baby links, and uh, you should play more indie games. <laughs>